today. That's wild. That's something we never do. All right, let's start with jumping jacks. Just get everything loose and warm and feeling good. This is all lower body today, so we're definitely going to get the feels and the quads and hamstrings and glutes, but we're going to have some fun and uh, sort of switch it up. So like I said, we're going to go heavy to start with and really challenge um, our bodies with the weight, not necessarily the rest. They're shorter work intervals, and I'd say if you're really using a weight that's challenging, just sort of slow those reps down and focus on the form. Five, four, three, two, and one into butt kicks. Keep that lower body moving. Get that heart rate up. Start to breathe a little bit heavier here. Take in some big gulps of air and just draw all of your thoughts into this workout. Right now, we're going to hit it hard. Heels all the way up, kicking your own butt. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're into high kicks. This one always starts that feel for me. That stretch through the hamstrings. Starts to wake up the whole body as well. Figuring out where your balance is at this morning. What you've got in you in terms of energy and drive. And we're going to push it. Toes up. Still haven't tested this Wi-Fi outside. Today's not a good day, but I will test it, I promise. Much better D than the bottom of the, or the basement in my house. Let's go one more time. And then right into the knees, two chops. Pull it in. Open nice and wide. And drop to the mat knee and as tight to the chest as you can. Open as wide as you can. And up. So you should sort of feel like you're pulling up and into the chest. And then up and out to this side. So sort of a fluid motion here. Really opening up the hip flexor. And of course, engaging the abs so you sort of keep that balance and you're not falling all over the place. Let's go one more each side. And drop. Open and drop. Go ahead and shake the legs up. Nice wide stance. Warm up the shoulders and the upper body a little bit here. The torso starts to shift side to side. Keep those wrists nice and high. And start to get deeper into that stretch. Keeping the shoulders and the hips facing forward and that lower back really nice and straight so that that pull comes through the obliques down the side of the torso. All right, go ahead and slow it down. Pull through those fingertips side to side. One more. And then go ahead and square those hips off and go in for the toe touches. Pushing the butt back behind you. Taking it as slow as you need to to start us off here. And then as your hamstrings start to loosen up, go ahead and draw the upper body closer and closer down towards your quads. Do quick shoelace side checks and linger at the bottom of the stretch. Let's go one more each side. Last one. And up to the top. Go ahead and stand up nice and tall. Leave the heels where we are. We're just going to drop down into three deep squats here. I want you to take it nice and slow with me. And what I want you to focus on is getting that butt low and pushing those knees out open nice and wide so we're stretching through the inner thighs. We're going to go for three. Reach to the ceiling. Drop the butt down. And then push up through the heels and keep it wide. Again, down for two. Feel that stretch and push. And last one here. And up through the top. Go ahead and shake everything out. So, like I said, these are going to be long circuits here. 
We're going to go through two times each. We're going to start off really pushing the challenge in terms of weight. So again, if you want to have a couple of pairs of dumbbells nearby, you can. But I would just say try to choose a weight that challenges your muscles, understanding that we're not going to get a ton of reps in, and we will get a little bit of a rest in between. So we're going to start. I'll show you the exercises real quick. We're going to start with front squats. So the dumbbells rest on the back of the shoulders. Whatever stance feels most comfortable for you, drop down, push through the heels, and right back up. Exercise two and three, we're going curtsy lunge and up. We'll switch sides for exercise three. And then exercise four, we're going in for that deadlift, okay? So we're gonna go through that sequence twice. We'll get a little break, grab some water and weights to the side. And the second part of the circuit is all body weight and all single, well, I shouldn't say all, until we get to the end of it. It's mostly single-sided exercises. So working on balance um, and fixing any sort of muscular imbalances in the lower half of the body, okay? So, dumbbells up. And let's get ready for that first set of front squats. And again, take it nice and slow. The challenge here is not pace, it is weight. Two and one, nice and slow, push through the heels. You wanna take it at a pace that you're completing those reps, but it's not a cardio pace. You wanna feel really, really on point with form here. Take your time, lower into the bottom of the squat. Three, two, one. All right, so either leave the dumbbells up or you can bring them to your side for these curtsy lunges, whatever's most comfortable for you. Right leg stays steady, step back with the left. Here we go. Step it back and pull up to the front. You want to keep your shoulders down back. And this should feel pretty heavy, right? So whatever weight you chose for those front squats is going to feel much heavier on a single leg exercise. Three, two, and one, shake it up. Over to the left side, left side stance leg, stepping back with the right in three, two, and one, let's go. Nice and deep into that lunge. The back knee approaches the floor under all sorts of control. Take it slow, push through that front heel. You should already feel those muscles engaging. Five, four, three, two, and one, dumbbells to the front. Let's hit those hamstrings. So, shoulders down and back, nice straight, lower back. Three, two, and one. Keep the dumbbells nice and close to the body. I only want you to go as far as you need to to feel a stretch in the hamstrings, keeping the back nice and straight. Push the back behind you. For most people, we're not going below parallel to the ground. Two, and one, up to the top. You guys, dumbbells back up for front squats. You should be feeling those muscles. That's what heavy weights do. Lower reps, lower reps, here we go. But starting to feel the muscles engage. So it's that challenge. It's actually safer as well. Because you know which muscles are supposed to be working. And there's sort of no messing around. Five, four, three, two, and one. Curtsy lunges, we're stepping back behind the body with the left foot in three, two, and one. Let's go. Taking that nice big step back so you have plenty of space to lower the knee to the floor without losing your balance. 10 seconds to go. Take a deep breath, you guys. Push through. Four, three, two, and one, shake it out. Starting to feel the side of the glute now too. Waking up every muscle in the lower body. Get ready, left leg stance leg, step it back. And up to the front. Drawing those hips all the way back up to your starting position so you can sort of reset, catch your balance, straighten everything out. Yeah, nice. Push, three, two, and one, up to the top, hold on to those dumbbells. One exercise to go. We're going in for deadlifts. Remember, stop the torso at parallel to the ground. Here we go. Dumbbells stay nice and close to the body. Focus on pushing the butt back behind you. Squeeze the glutes. 
and then draw the hips forward. It's all about that hip hinge. Has nothing to do with leaning forward, everything to do with pushing the butt back. Three, two, and one. All right. Dumbbells to the side. There's our heavy portion done out of the way. Now we're looking at single sided work. No rest until the second half of this circuit is done. So grab some water now. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to start on the right leg. Do you guys remember those sprinter squats? Bringing that knee into the Achilles and then back up? That's where we're starting. So, right leg stance leg, left knee comes down. So you're doing about a half the squat here. And back up to the top. Yep, chest stays high. So basically what we're working on here is sort of the top half of a single leg squat. Developing that quad, that's where you're gonna feel this, and your glute. Timer goes off, we're going into a right side touchdown, so basically a body weight deadlift. All right, stand up nice and tall, right leg stays down, go ahead and touch down, and back up to the top. So what we're doing here is that first exercise focused on quads and glutes, just like the first two exercises that we started the workout with, and now we're hitting hamstrings. Timer goes off, switch sides, and we're gonna go left side, Sprint your lunges in four, three, two, and one. Left leg down. Let's even things out here. Boom, and up. So if you start to feel a little bit shakier or you feel like you're sort of less coordinated on one side of the body, those are those imbalances I'm talking about. The only way you're going to fix those, well, not the only way, but a big part of fixing that are these single-sided exercises. You have to force the muscles to do the work. Three, two, and one. Stand up nice and tall into those touchdowns. Down and right back up. So we've got three exercise sequence coming up all on the right side. We're going to start with a side lunge. Again, body weight only for this whole second half. Making sure the body so wait and those what's up. Let's go four, three, two, and one. Stand up nice and tall. We're gonna go into right side side lunges. So take that big step to the right, down, and push yourself off that right heel back to the center. So again, when you're coming into this side lunge, I want your butt moving back. See how it looks like if I drew my left leg over, I'd be in a squat position. That's the form that you want here. When this timer goes off, we're going to take this lunge to a reverse lunge. Two and one. Up to the center. Keep the left leg stance leg. Step it back with the right. And again, we're looking here for control. You should already be feeling your muscles. That's sort of the benefit of those big lifts at the start is that your muscles are already awake and ready, primed up to do the work. Get ready. We're going to pulse at the bottom and then stand up. That's a two count pulse and then back up to the top. Here we go. Add it in at the bottom. Pulse and then stand up nice and tall. Give that leg a little bit of a break. And nice and tall. You guys, this looks awesome. I want you to pick a spot on the floor in front of you. Really try to stabilize that upper body by keeping the core braced and your mind on the movement. When this timer goes off, we're going to the left side with lunges in four, three, two, and one. Up to the top, shake it out just a little bit, and then take those lunges to the left. That left leg is getting hit, baby. Come on. We'll switch up which side we start with next time through so that endurance round really hits on both sides. All right, getting that butt nice and low into this squat. Push through the heel, right back to the center. Let's hit it. Come on. Ready for reverse lunge in three, two, and one. Step it back and pull it forward. You guys keep the body moving. This lunge sequence is going to bring us to a final squat sequence where we're not relying on just a single side of the body to do the work. I told you, it's leg day. 
Take that deep breath in and pull the body forward. Keep pushing here. The legs are big, strong muscles. They gotta push it to get that adaptation. Go ahead and add that pulse at the bottom. Two count pulse, and then up. Yes. Raise your hand if your glutes are kicking right now. Come on. Woo. Yes. All right. I'm very glad I didn't do the workout I had planned last night. That would have sucked. Let's go. Pull it forward. Ten seconds to go. We're going into a body weight squat. We're going to give that single-sided exercise a little bit of a break. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it up nice and tall. One more time. Shake the legs out. Whatever stance is comfortable for you, body weight squats. Woo! All right. You're going to feel the quads and the glutes hit. So, you guys, we are finishing up with a pretty long squat sequence here. We're going to throw in some other exercises. But this is our base movement. When the timer goes off, we're going to go into a squat, straighten the legs into that deadlift, and stand right back up. So, with me, down into the squat, straighten the legs, push the butt back behind you, and stand up nice and tall, draw the hips forward. Yes, squat. Straighten the legs, the chest comes forward. Squeeze the glutes and finish the deadlift. That's the one, you got it. All right, here we go. Straighten those legs, squeeze, and bring it forward. You're gonna feel that pull in the hamstrings. All right, when this timer goes off, we're gonna leave the deadlift behind. Let's do one more. Straighten the legs, squeeze the glutes and drop forward. Now, we're gonna go down into a squat, calf raise, and push up. Here we go. Squat, calf raise, and push. Heels down. Squat. Calf raise. And push. Yeah. You feel all of that work come to the front side of the legs? That's what I'm talking about. Down. Calf raise. And pulse. When the timer goes off, leave the calf raise behind. And we're adding in that two count pulse to the bottom of the movement. Here we go. Down for pulse. And push up to the top. Down for pulse. And up. You get a break in 20 seconds. I know this is a long round. You guys are kicking butt. We're coming up. This is that challenge, you guys. This is that kind of workout that tells your body, grow. Get better at this. Let's do it. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out and take that break. You guys rock that first circuit. Nice and done. All right. So again, your body, when you when you progress, when you get results, that is your body adapting to a workout like this where it says, I want to be more efficient at that. Next time we do that, I want it to be easier. I don't want to burn as many calories. That's when your muscles grow. That's when you get stronger. That's what we're looking for. And, quick reminder on that front, that doesn't happen during the workout. That happens after the workout with nutrition and recovery. Okay? So right now, we're breaking things down. The protein you have today, the carbs, the fats, that's building back up, okay? So shake everything out. I'm going to give us another minute here because we're starting back at the top with that heavy lift. So judge how you felt at the end of the heavy lift portion last round. If you want to go a little bit heavier, try it out, right? Have a couple of dumbbells nearby. You can always drop. One more sip of water and we'll dive in. Your muscles are feeling it now, baby. Shake everything out. Grab whatever weights you are comfortable with for this first part of the round. And let's get rocking. Here we go. So, dumbbells up. We're going for front squats here. Resting on the shoulders. You don't have to do that bicep curl. Here we go. Drop in. And push through the heels right back up to the top. You are going to feel every single one of these exercises a bit quicker. But you got this. Come on. You know you're getting a break. It's coming in five seconds. Hold tight with me. Two and one. Dumbbells down. Shake it out. We're going curtsy lunges. Stepping back with the left foot. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Step it back and pull the body forward. Reminder, you are this strong, you are stronger. And whatever you're feeling in the legs right now, we're all feeling it. So it's one
a big happy family of burn. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Nicely done. We're going to the left. Take a deep breath in. Keep your mind on the workout. Five, four. Here we go. Shoulders down and back. Step it back. And pull it forward. So we're hitting the quads again. We're hitting the glutes. And we're coming up on our hamstring deadlifts. Keep the shoulders and hips nice and level so those shoulders stay down and back. Don't give up on form here. Four, three, two, and one. Nice and tall. Shake the legs out. We're going in for deadlifts. So giving the quads a little bit of a break. Three, two, and one. Here we go. This is no joke kind of work. Focus on taking deep breaths in. Get that oxygen into your lungs. Pump into those muscles doing the work. Three, two, and one. Shake it out, you guys. We have one more time for each of these exercises. Dumbbells up. Going in for front squats. Three, two, and one. Get that butt nice and low. You need to slow these reps down. I am A okay with that. I know you're putting in the work. Let's go. 10 seconds. Keep that lower back nice and straight. Let those muscles work. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Curtsy lunge, curtsy lunge. Let's hit this hard. Staying strong with me. Three, two, and one. Step it back. Pull the body forward. Again, take this as slow as you need to. I know that burn is hitting hard, but again, we're all here. This is growth build. Three, two, and one. Take a 10 second break. We've got two exercises to go, and we're coming up on a little break. Shoulders down and back. Tuck that tailbone under. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Step it back. Pull hard through that front heel. That front knee stays stacked over the heel so you're nice and strong and steady on that pull. Five, four, yes, you guys. Three, two, and one. 10 second break. Deadlifts, and you can drop the weight for the day. Down and back, nice, straight. Back, three, two, and one. Let's go. Proof how important forearms, forearm strength is to uh, lower body strength. Come on! Grip those dumbbells hard. Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze the glutes, pull up to the top of you guys. Those dumbbells can go to the side. You do not need them for the rest of today's workout. So take a water break. Grab a towel. I know I'm sweating my butt off. We're coming up. On the single side and balanced portion of the workout here, okay? So, we're gonna push hard through this last round. We're gonna start on the right leg with those sprinter squats. Toes down, heels down. Here we go. Down and up. Again, I want you to pick a spot three to four feet out in front of you. Especially important this round because your muscles are tired. If you're feeling it like I am, you're feeling a little shaky on that leg, take a deep breath and Air, pull up, slow your thoughts down, and push through. This is the last time you'll see these exercises. Going in for that touchdown in three, two, and one. Touchdown, and then right back up. So bringing the hamstring into the game. Again, I want you to hold on to nice, tight form. Keep those shoulders in your back pocket so your back stays nice and straight. The next day is neutral, and you're just letting those lower body muscles fight through it. Timer goes off, and we're switching legs in three, two, and one. Shake it up. Left side, sprinters. Boom, and up. The deeper you can get into that sort of single side squat, touching that knee to the Achilles, the more you're going to get out of this exercise. Take a look at your knee, make sure it's pointed forward as you're lowering into the movement and pressing back up. Come on, 
quads. Let's do this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Touchdowns, you guys. Boom. And draw the chest right back up. Keep the body moving at a slow and steady right here. There is no doubt that you're putting in work. Keep pushing right now. You guys look super strong. Keep it up. Come on. This timer goes off. We're going into left side lunges. Two and one up to the top. Left side lunges. So I know we hit left leg for a little while there. But we're just switching up which leg we're starting with so that we can sort of hammer in on the right side after this exercise. So remember, we're going from side lunge into a reverse lunge. Don't skimp on the exercise. Get everything you can out of each rep. Four, three, two, last one, and up, reverse. Whoo! All right. Left leg gets a little itty bitty break here. All right, reverse lunges. We're going to play a little game with the pulse that's coming up. We're going to stay down in that lunge pulse. If you need to come up at any time, you absolutely can. Shake it out and then join us right back down in the lunge. That's coming in five seconds. So take a deep breath. Three, two, and one. I want you to step it back and pulse with me. Again, if you need to come up out of this and shake things off, come up out. Shake the legs for two or three seconds, and then back down in it. When we come up out of this pulse, we're going right into a right side lunge. So it's not quite over yet. You guys look awesome. Form right here. The chest are nice and tall. Shoulders down and back. Yes. Here we go. Five. Four. Yes. Three. Two. And one. Stand it up. Shake it out. And let's go into that right side lunge. Boom. And up. Woo. Just add an insole here. Come on, let's do it. This is it for that single side on the right. You guys, we are coming up on the end of this long circuit. It's certainly the end of the single side movement. Stick with it. Get ready to go reverse lunge in three, two, and one. The left leg is stance leg. Step it back with the right and pull all the way up to the top. I know you are feeling it. We're so, so close. Imagine this a year ago. No way, baby. Come on. Get ready for that pulse. Hold in just under 10 seconds. Take a deep breath. Draw your thoughts in to your strength. Three, two, and one. Pulse it out with me. All right, I want you to close your eyes if you need to. I just want you to draw all of your thoughts into this hold, into this strength. Think about all of the things you've done that are way harder than this. We've got 15 seconds to go. We're going to shake it out and go into body weight squats. We're so close to the finish line, you guys. 10 seconds to go. Hold tight. I know it burns. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Four, three, two, and one. Stand it up. I want you to shake those legs out. Woo, baby. All right. Wider stance here. Let's go in for body weight squats. Down and up. Push that butt back behind you. You are going to feel these squats. You guys, we have two minutes of work ahead of us. That is it. And we are done. When this timer goes off, we're going to add that deadlift in. So we're down into the squat. We'll straighten the legs and drop the chest into that deadlift. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Down into the squat. Chest comes forward, straighten those legs, and draw the glutes forward. Keep the back as straight as possible. Think about balancing a board as you come forward. It's a simultaneous straightening of the knees and pushing of the butt as far back as you can take it. You're really going to feel this stretch with the wider stance. We're going to leave the deadlift behind and add in the calf raise in two and one. Down, calves and push. There's those quads again. Down, calves, and push. Nicely done. Take this nice and slow. Don't lose your balance now. You guys, we're coming up on that squat pulse, the last exercise of the workout. Your choice. One cow pulse and push up or 
Hold with me. Five, four, three, two, and one. If you can lower down, hold with me. Or I want you to do one to two count pulse and push up out of that squat. This is for that final burn. This is it. I promise. No sneaky plank challenges are coming after this. This is it. Yes. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You got this. Woo. Yes. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. You guys stand up nice and tall. Freaking rock stars. Push it hard. Keep that body moving. Walk it out. Walk it out. Shake the legs. Get that blood pumping. You guys, that was no joke. Beast mode. That's what the playlist is called. That was beast mode workout. You guys rocked it. Woo! All right. Moving those legs. Grabbing some water. Now we're going to get a quick lower body stretch going. Seriously, that was awesome, you guys. Rock solid. All right. I'm going to shut this music down. Woo! I am dripping right now. My legs are burning. Here we go. So, shaking those legs out. We're going to go old school stretch. If you need somewhere to bounce, totally fine. Just grab that right heel, and I want you to bring it right up towards your butt. Feel that quad just stretch. I just want you to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Already that squat pulls is sort of drifting into the past. Just me? No? Yeah? <laughs> All right, drop that right ankle. Grab the left ankle. Pull the leg up towards your butt. Keep the hips nice and level here. You just want that quad stretch. Nothing more. Heart rate should be approaching normal again. All right, go ahead and drop both legs. Shake it out again. Keep that blood flowing. We're going to go in for the hamstrings here. So that right leg comes out in front. We're going in for that runner stretch. I want the flat toe pointed up at the ceiling. And just push your butt back behind you. Lean towards that front leg. If this feels uncomfortable, you can do this against the wall for a slightly less aggressive angle. But what I want you to feel is sort of that stretch all the way up the calves, up the hamstring, and into your glute. Four, three, two, and one. Funny how those stretches become a workout after you've done a 30-minute leg day, right? All right, opposite leg, toes up towards the ceiling, bend over, stretch through that other side. So again, you guys, we went heavy to start us off, prime those muscles, and then all of those single-sided exercises are forcing your body to sort of do the work on each side, evenly, which helps to fix any imbalances, just get stronger, more powerful. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and stand up nice and tall. One more shake of the legs. Let's get the inner thighs here. So take a little bit wider stance, just a little bit wider than shoulders. Take a deep breath in, stretch the back all the way up through the ceiling. Push the butt back behind you and reach for the floor. Go ahead and walk those hands back through your feet if you can. Just letting the natural body weight draw you towards the mat. Walk the hands forward. Still in that forward fold. I want you to walk your heels out and toes out a little little bit so that you're wide enough that you can drop into that deep side lunge and just sort of sink into it and stretch through the inner thigh. Really key to hit all angles of the muscles since that's what we just worked. You guys, that was kick-ass workout. Woo! Taking those deep breaths in, just slowly exhaling, sinking into that stretch a little bit. Whenever you're ready, straighten the legs and walk those hands hands over to the left side and sink into that stretch. This is definitely one that uh, deserves a, a quick stretch before bed and definitely some protein today. All right, go ahead and straighten both legs. Again, we're in that forward fold. Let your body sink towards the mat. Thank <laughs> you. 
And whenever you're ready, walk those heels in, toes in, heels in, toes in. Slow roll up to the ceiling. Some big shoulder rolls back 